So I became hearing impaired right after my reign as Miss USA. I was traveling 20,000 miles a month, up and down, congested, sick, with allergies. My head wouldn't clear up. It just wouldn't clear up. I wasn't hearing well. Felt like it was thick, uh, cotton in my ears. I started getting this roaring and buzzing called tinnitus. Some people say tinnitus. And it, was, it kept me up at night. I realized I was slipping on my tongue and not speaking properly. Um, it, was, it was strange because I was yelling and not actually hearing myself. All of these things were happening. I would walk away and not understand or, or hear people. And some people started to ask me, what's going on with you? Are you ignoring me? Are you, it was, it was very disconcerting actually to, to realize that my adversity that was just beginning was affecting all of my relationships. And I had to figure out what was I gonna do and went into the best audiologist and ear, nose and throat doctor in Los Angeles um, and dove right in. And when I was diagnosed with the onset of Meniere's disease, I went, oh my gosh, what, what is that? But I treated the symptoms with hearing aids, which my tinnitus subsided within the first couple of years. I was speaking and, en and enunciating everything uh, a little more clearly and that was huge for me in the entertainment business. I recently, over the past year, because I have been very proactive with all of my hearing screenings. I went in to find out what was going on with me. I was considering going bionic in my left ear because I'm almost completely deaf in my left ear. So I wanted to continue my signia instruments on my right side and possibly go to a cochlear implant on my left. So I did all of my screenings that I needed to prepare for that and found out that I have an acoustic neuroma. I have a brain tumor on my left facial cochlear nerve, which means I do not qualify for, for a cochlear implant. Okay, so what next? <laughs> uh, guess what? There's technology that's specific for my knees. We fit Shauna with the Charge and Go Bicross hearing aids. Um, her left ear is pretty much unaidable and she can't understand speech from that side. So the Bicross allows for her to understand speech from her poorer ear. And it gives her just more awareness from you know the side that she's been having the most difficulty with. I can hear the snaps here and it feels like it's here, but it's transmitting it over here. So that just opened my world up in a different way. It was amazing for her when I fit her with that because I was able to whisper into that ear that she has so much trouble with and she knew exactly what I was saying. Whereas previously with her old technology, because her word discrimination is so poor in that left ear, she would have never understood me if I whispered into that ear. So it was amazing to watch her eyes light up and she was able to understand me from that side. My daughter, she will talk to me from behind or come up and whisper in my ear and I, I, I test it. Sometimes I'll, I will look forward just and get emotional just to go, oh my gosh. You know, I was worried about not being able to hear my kids, being able to take care of my children in the middle of the night when I have twins and, and wondering if I'm gonna hear them cry or suffocate or something. All of those things are significant. So when you find a technology that you feel safe, uh, you'll do anything to keep that going and uh, that relationship continuing forever. I hear better than I did initially, and they look fantastic. They're actually all these different colors. I will show my friends and they won't even see what I'm talking about. I have to actually take it out and show them. They go, oh, you know, so that's what's really refreshing. But honestly, if you want to hear well and have something be aesthetically pleasing and functional beyond whatever you would believe could, it could do, to give you a better quality of life than it's today and it's with Signia. It's amazing. Oh, my favorite function is Bluetooth and pair right into your phone, answer your phone so you feel like you have a headset on. That to me, 10 years ago when everything went digital, it changes your life in the hearing impaired world. I have a little mic because I do have a, a Samsung, so it's just a little tiny apparatus that, that I talk through, um, hands-free. It's amazing and you feel so connected and proud and confident when you're on the phone to be able to communicate to whoever, whomever you need to. 
I just went to a concert recently with my, my sister at Red Rocks in Colorado, and I turned my, my hearing aids on a different function that was for focusing in front of me so I didn't hear all of the audience behind me. And I turned my volume down just slightly, so those were my earbuds. So I was protecting my hearing as well as listening to the quality that I needed to in that particular venue, which was insane. There's been pivotal moments over the years that were aha moments that um, I do get emotional about because I honestly can say it today that I do feel like I hear better than I did over the years as technology has, has gotten more powerful and, and gotten aesthetically pleasing and smaller and more beautiful that I'm hearing better. I, I can't even believe that that, that is, has happened in my life. Um, it's, uh, it's been a journey and I'm so grateful.